Hello, it's Heather from Pixel Gamer Girls, and we have made a new cooking video for your viewing pleasure. We will be cooking from the cookbook Hell's Kitchen. We are going to be making grilled pork chops with Atlanta. Here we go. For the spinach polenta, you are going to need two cups of milk, one cup of cream, about a tablespoon of thyme, one clove of garlic, polenta, and softened butter, two to three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, five tablespoons of mascarpone cheese, and about two and a half cups of spinach. First, we will be adding in our milk. Come here, cream. Ah, get here. And our thyme garlic mixture. Stir it up. Ah, a little bit of the thyme is reluctant to come out. And we're gonna let that come to a boil. Once it's done boiling, we're going to need to strain it into a new pot and get the thyme out and the garlic out. Get that stuff out of this pan. Cooperate with me, spoon. Then I've already added the polenta, and I have to stir constantly until it all starts thickening up. I'm going to turn this up a little and get it back to boiling. One is a heck of a lot thicker than it was before. We have to take it off the heat. I'm splattering everything. Stir in some salt and pepper. Get all that in there. Slowly start adding things like the Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle the last of it in there. I'm gonna put the softened butter in there. And we're gonna let that all melt together. Make one big gooey pot of cheesy polenta happiness. Some of the last steps for our polenta is to put in our five tablespoons of mascarpone cheese and to stir until thoroughly melted in with the rest of them. And last but not least, we'll be putting in roughly about two cups of the spinach, which if your polenta is hot enough, will wilt right into your meal. Make sure you cook the pork all the way through, or Gordon Ramsay might pop out of your closet and yell at you about it. Now when it comes to pork chops, I have put a nice swirling of olive oil in here. There we go. Now finally we can get to work on the pork chops. They have been brining for about an hour, and these are bone-in pork chops. And let us see. These are the pork chops that we have let brine for an hour now. I'm trying to soap up as much of the brine as possible, leaving behind a nice dry pork chop to work with. After they are washed off, I give them a nice dusting of salt and pepper on each side. And into a decently high heated pan with oil they go. Now these have gotten flipped over and they are going to be getting a nice sear on each side. Let me see what this side looks like. Looking good. 
Now, we just need to sear each side for seven minutes in a pan. Now, if we were doing this on the grill, it'd be eight to seven minutes on the hot side of the grill, and then be put on the lower side of the grill to cook the rest of the way slowly. But in our case, we are going to turn down the heat and let them cook slowly until the middle reads over 137. Well, there you have the finished product of pork chops and polenta with spinach in them. I will be putting the recipe below, and I can put a link to where you too can get this book and make your own pork chops and other lovely recipes that are in it. So, until next time. Laters. Roll! Roll!